Have you built Lego before? Building Lego is quite easy, right? Because you just put blocks upon each other and you create something. Now, building a sales funnel with Inkoha Level or a website is like building Lego. You have your different colors. And once you understand the concept of building Lego, then it is actually quite simple. But when you just start out and you create your first funnel, your first website, it is very overwhelming because you're not exactly sure how the Lego blocks fit into each other. So in this video, I'm going to show you the very basic steps of creating your sales funnel or your website within Goha level. So yes, we're going to build Lego. My name is Joy Nicholson and welcome back to my channel. This channel is about helping you to grow and scale your business, but not just that, to help you to grow and scale your mindset and your habits. So please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for more videos like this in the future. Let's dive into building Lego. Before I share my screen with you and I show you how it looks within the system, how we build Lego, I'm going to show you how the Lego works like this. So you have the green, which is your section. You have the blue, that is your row. You have the purple, that is your column. And you have the, the orange color, that is your actual element. Now you can't have the one without the other. You can't have an element if you don't have a column. You can't have a column if you don't have a row. And you can't have a row if you don't have a section. And that's just the way it is. And that's how building Lego is. So you need to create a section, then a row, then a column, and then an element. So let me share my screen with you and show you how we're going to build Lego within Goha Level. Let's do this. This is exciting stuff. Okay, so here I've got a very basic funnel. This is one of the very basic templates that I've got. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. And it's quite fun, actually. So when you start out, say, pretend this is all blank. Let's start out. So we say we're going to add a section. You pull the section in. You can see that's the green color, right? Then you add a row. And within a row, you have your column. And you have your, uh, your row and your column. Now you can't create a column without a row and you can't create a row without a column. So those two really work well together. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do next. Now you have to think, do you want to have something like this that has something together on a page, like two or three things next to each other? Or do you want one thing? So now we're going to say for a headline, it's only one thing. So that's one column. You click on one column. Now you have your element. See the colors? There you've got your green, you've got your blue, you've got your your purple color, and now we are going to create the orange color. Now the orange color is your headline, your sub headline, your button, your forms, these are all elements. I also have a workbook that you can download. It is payable though, it's a very affordable price. But this workbook is about a hundred pages and it takes you step by step to understand the basic stuff of how all of this works. So I will drop a link below for that as well. But as you can see here, let's just pretend we have a headline because it's at the top of the funnel and you always have a headline at the top. And then within that headline, you can do that again and you have a sub headline. And then underneath that, you have a paragraph. So the, the element really that is about, you know, creating your buttons, your forms, all of that stuff. That is the main thing about building all the funnel things out and obviously the website stuff. So the website and the funnel really goes the same. It's all the same concept. And the two-step order form, all of that stuff. So your elements, though it's the smallest block on the Lego, it is the most important because that's where all the little golden things are. And like I said, and also when you go, so I'm just going to go a little bit deeper and show you the next level. When you have a column, uh, sorry, a, a section like this, you can play with the settings on the section. So when you go to advanced, you can say you want a mid, a, a wide, a mid wide, or a small. So if I go small, you can see how it went from the full size page to only that. Now you can also do that with your row. You cannot do that, however, with the others. So with the row, you can do the same. What you do is you just scroll to the left. So you make sure that you select whatever you want and you can see how it changes on the left-hand side. So if I'm on the, the element, you can see there, it's changing there. If I'm on the, the, the column, you can see how it's changing on the left-hand side there. When I'm on the row, you can see how it changes. And again, it changes when you are on the, the section. So the, the things that you have on the left-hand side of your page changes according to the thing that you are busy editing, whether it's the section, the row, the column, or the element. And I promise you, once you nail down the understanding of how all of this works, creating a sales funnel is so easy, okay? But it's just wrapping your head around the first bits that can be quite complicated. 
it took me a good couple of weeks to get into it when I just started out. But you know what? Once you have it, you're off like a steam train. <laughs> okay, so for here, for example, when we go into your your section, which is green, you can change the things here. You can make the colors. You can do all of that stuff. I'm not going to go deep into all of this. I really just wanted you to understand how the Lego works. But then you have your your row, which is blue. There on the bottom, you can change that. You can make it like that. You can, you know, the width, you can change all of that. And then you can also center, you can write a line, you can change the color to that. Let's make this look completely crazy so you guys can see the different things that you can do. And then you have your, your column, which is the purple. And even that, you can change the background color. And then you have your element, and even that you can change the background color. So you can see you can go quite crazy on this. Obviously, please do not do this. We do not want to have a kindergarten funnel. This is the worst thing you can do for your business. Also, what is really cool is when you have your headlines, your subtle headlines, and your actual paragraph, you can change the font. The font, you go to settings, and there's advanced settings there of how to change the fonts. I'm not going to go into all the crazy details, but that is literally how you build a sales funnel within Goha Level, building Lego blocks. So this is the concept. I hope you... You get this now. I know it's very complicated when you just start out and you're not really a tech advanced person. And personally, I'm a tech weenie. So if I can figure this out after a week or so, you can definitely do the same. If you have any questions, queries, please comment below. Let us know if you have any problems. And also, most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.